So myself and my husband, Robert, we went back to Sunshine Hotel at about 9 o'clock, and we asked for the keys to go and sleep. And they refused with the key and said that we have to produce a marriage certificate. I felt a little bit harassed, and I removed my ring, and my husband also removed his ring to show them that we are legally married, not really legally married, but to show that we belong to each other. Because my ring has Robert's name engraved, and his ring has my name engraved. And they could not hear anything close to that. They refused to give us a room, they refunded our money, and we had to look for a room after 9.30. It was difficult for us because any other hotel, and I think it's good that this happened to Honorable Catherine, because maybe this information would not have come out. Because we went to other two hotels within Kericho, not only that sunshine, but I can't remember the names of the hotels. And we were treated the same, same way. You were told here, if you don't come with your marriage certificate, you will not get a, a room. So we decided to drive from Kericho all the way to Nakuru at night, risking the dangers of driving at night, and it was raining very heavily, I remember, and we had to get to Na Nakuru at about midnight to go and sleep in Nakuru, and that's where we spent the night, in Nakuru. In Nakuru, nobody bothered whether we had a certificate or not, and we had the night with ourselves. <laughs> So my question is, and, and I'm really concerned about this, how many more women have gone through this kind of treatment in silence? And do you know how bruising it is for a man, the man's ego, to be pushed to the corner to prove that this is your wife? Mm -hmm. You know I've been talking for men, and I've been, I've been talking about how to bring back our men into space of men, manhood. And it is very embarrassing for you as a receptionist to start asking some funny questions to men. Who is this you are with? Are you the priest? <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you the lawyer? Who are you to ask a man who is this you are with in a hotel? When these two people decide that they are going to walk into a hotel and do their jobs and do their extracurricular activity, what business do you have with that kind of activity to ask for such questions? I was lucky at least that day I was with my husband. She was lucky at least that day she was with her husband. What if? What if? <laughs> and let me tell you, these things happen. They happen. I mean, we need to be true to ourselves and let us live a life like we are real to our own selves. Mm. This must stop. I'm not trying to say that I am promoting that we men can be going out with women and spending in those hotels, but I think it is not the, 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 the basic function for a hotelier to ask you who is it that you're going to sleep with and how you're going to sleep with that person. That's not their business. 